Hey, so nice that you are around. My name is ASMR Katz, together with my cat Popel. Popel is the German name for Buga. You clicked on my new series, the ASMR Alphabet, where I will talk today about E. Empathy. R S M R Katz. If you are curious what A, B, C and D was already about, feel free to follow, subscribe and click on the notification bell and check all my other videos because I have way more in stock for you. <sighs> Can you hear my cat? Sadly I can't <laughs> move the microphones closer otherwise he runs away. And there's nothing better to talk about empathy while I'm having a cat on my lap. Empathy. <sighs> Without empathy, I would not be here right now and speaking in front of the camera with you. Because then I also wouldn't make a somehow. I would say that one of my secret weapons is empathy. I know that so many people need more empathy in their life. Empathy comes from experience. And empathy is, I think, also something that you can fine-tune. You have to practice it. I am 100% think that every one of us have empathy in our hearts, but a lot of people are numb against this empathy because they are so distracted from their own trouble. But still, I think we all experience kind of similar stories where we can grow in empathy. And for me, it was always very, very important to have a lot of empathy. A lot of times I wish I would have a little bit less, but I directly feel the person who is directly in front of me. Even so, the person say, I'm fine. I feel when the person isn't. Or when I see that a person carries something very heavy, I know it's heavy and then I want to help. And I think it's a good thing to do and to learn to have more empathy. But what I lose in the same way is the empathy to myself. And also to speak out the own borders. And 
person with empathy is always tempted to put everyone else first. And when you put everyone else first, you forget about yourself. What actually shouldn't be, because you are having the same value as anyone else. When not even more, because the longest relationship you have is the relationship to yourself. <laughs> Maybe you ask yourself how you can practice empathy. I would say empathy always starts within yourself. To listen why you feel things and how you feel them. Why something is making you so happy or why something is making you so sad. Empathy for sure also comes from experiences. If you have a lot of arguments where you feel in discomfort, and where you feel that someone is stepping on your feet without letting you speak out or whatever, then when you see others in that same situation, you kind of know how they feel. And then you are directly more empathetic have directly more empathy. I hope I explained that right. <laughs> I studied social work and there I had seen a lot of people with a lot of empathy and it was always similar because they was able to feel what someone else is feeling and then they was very, very caring person. What made me pretty happy because I think when you work with other humans you should be able to have empathy. I also know when I let the fine-tuning of empathy in my life and treated other with more empathy, very, very good things happen to me because with empathy I also had a weapon I call respect and I was able to respect others the way they are because I knew that doesn't matter through what they was going they are this reason because they was treated a certain way in the past. With empathy you can teach. <laughs> My cat is falling down soon. Come, come close. 
will fall otherwise. With empathy, you can teach people so much. Since I let empathy in my life, I am able to teach <laughs> and I tell you when someone of my friends would watch this, they would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I believe truly in it. I believe truly. Because I have empathy. Because I know how someone else is feeling in a certain way. I can be able to share more love than others. Because I know what to do to show a person a lot of self-love and self-confidence through the power of empathy. Think very simple. You are now in the fight. And there are so many discussions about whatever. When you would stay there and would say, I know how you feel. And I'm sorry you feel this way because of this and this reasons and not like reasons you invented. No, because of reasons where the person in front of you really, really know that I understand and I see, and I value, and I know how the other person feels, then this person feels loved, feels valued, and feels good. And with this, you can move mountains. But you only can move these mountains when you really, really know what the other persons kind of feel. And therefore, you had to go to these feelings before. <laughs> Otherwise, you only can imagine. For example, I can feel a lot of emotions, but I only can imagine how it could feel when someone lose a very close family member. Because I never lost a very close family member. No person close to me died yet. But I for sure can say I absolutely know how it feels when your cat is running away from you for one month and you don't know if it's still alive, if it's well, or if something happened. Because with Popel, he was now a few days ago coming back from a one month adventure where he was just gone. And I was so worried. And friends told me, hey, you have to let go. Maybe he comes back, maybe not. And I thought more. <laughs> I want to treat everything around me good and want to show the universe that I want to have my purple back. For example, short after Popel was gone, and I was very worried. A wild, wild squirrel <laughs> was running close to us. And he was not running away from me and my boyfriend. I put him in the garden, and he was still 
with us. And for sure, it was cute, but I knew there's something off, because usually no squirrel will come to a person. They all run away. So I checked in Google, and happily I found this rescue number where I was calling, but I needed to drive far, far away to bring the squirrel there. No one else would do that. Some would not sit for hours in the car to bring a wild animal away. So I did, and I was riding the rescue woman that I hope that the squirrel will be fine, and I hope that this good thing will bring my cat back. And here he sits, after one month, in my arm, melting because I cuddle him. And I think such a thing to do, full of empathy, will bring good in your life. So I know now how it feels when a very close animal is missing for one month. And only in this experience I can bring up the empathy that it should be bring up, brought up. <laughs> and I often see when people speak with me where they don't made any experience what brought them to the way of empathy I need in that moment. And I also often see that people need empathy from me, I can give them because I haven't experienced that in that moment already. And it's fine. But life is a teacher and at some point you experience so much that you can for sure bring empathy, more empathy into your life or fine tune the feelings about empathy. Let me think if I forgot something. I actually think that also empathy can make you <laughs> drive crazy. When you are such an empath, I also heard that people who are, have a very good empathy I'm poopy. He's falling soon. I need to change my position. This is better. I know that a lot of people who have a lot of empathy also are very sensitive and emotional, very distressed because they get so much emotions from the people around them. And then it is also very important to actually know how to be in balance with the way of empathy and to don't let anyone take too much energy. And there I have to say I need to learn a lot. <laughs> I need to learn to set my own boundaries, take my own time, and being still empath, but also 
when I am that way, wish that others are also a bit more calm to me and understand that I'm a bit more sensitive as maybe someone else. Because I have the opportunity to be such an empath. And I think it's also very important for you if you see that. And you would consider yourself as an empath. Know your borders, speak them out properly, don't let them cross, that you always can be an empath. Because when you not can be an empath anymore, because it destroys you, it would be so sad, because it's such an important thing in our world to have a lot of empath. So make sure to have the energy right, the right balance of give and take, lean back, get energy, give energy. Thank you so much for listening. My name is ASMR Katz. If you like this little episode about empathy, make sure to follow, like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. And don't forget to be the next episode again, part of my ASMR alphabet. After E comes F. So be curious what we will talk in the next ASMR alphabet about with the letter F. If you liked it, invite all your friends to follow my channel too. Share me on your social medias and Feel free to see all the other videos I already made. Food ASMR. I read books. I share my ASMR experiences with friends. And for sure, my latest ASMR alphabet episodes. Thank you so much for listening. Have a empathic, nice time. Doesn't matter where you are right